So biculturalism is when one person belongs to two different cultures. It could also be more than two. It could be multiculturalism, so two or three uh, cultures. Uh, usually that happens because you, your parents uh, belong to different cultures or because you were raised into different countries or moved from one country to another. Well, I think the benefits are that you open your mind to a completely different mindset of, you know, how you view the world. So when you're uh, monocultural, you tend to think that what goes in your culture is, like for everybody, the same things. Then when you get exposed to another culture, you are like, oh my god, they eat that or they do this. When you're uh, bicultural, you can really appreciate that there's not only just one way of doing things, there's, you know, more than one and they both have value. So ideally, when you learn another language, you're not just learning the vocabulary and the grammar and the pronunciation, but you're also learning a whole new set of cultural norms. Unfortunately, that's not always the case. You know, some people don't have the option of traveling abroad or, uh, or actually immersing themselves in the other culture. So you could technically be bilingual, learn another language and, and stay monocultural if you don't have the chance to do that. So it's not a one-on-one -on -one thing. Bilingualism is not always biculturalism and vice versa. But again, in an ideal world, learning two languages should lead to learning another culture with the language. Mm -hmm.